Hi everyone, and welcome to Studio Jake. I, of course, am your host, Jacob Airy. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Now, to start, I want to remind everyone that my three novels, Cacophony, The Seven Royals, All Good Things, and its sequel, The Seven Royals, Breaking the Stars, are currently available. You can get them at barnesandnoble.com, amazon.com, and of course, Seven Royals here, you can get pretty much anywhere the digital download, but Breaking the Stars, if you want this one, for digital download, it is only available at booklocker.com. I just wanted to bring these three titles to your attention before I got started. So, welcome to Comics, Cartoons, and Cola. This is, uh, I haven't done one of these in a really long time. It's been a while, but I thought I had the perfect opportunity because I got the latest box from Iconic Comics. They produce Common America, Black Hops, and Soul Finders. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm very excited about this one. I'm going to be doing an unboxing for it. This should be the, the epic crossover between Common America, Black Hops, and Soul Finders. I am I was a backer from the, about for this early on. I really love their stuff. I really enjoyed it, as you can see. I, I even get their acrylic standees every chance I get, so I wanted to be able to show this off all while enjoying some soda, and this is not a product placement, by the way. Sorry, I did that off screen. Anyway, we're going to get started. Got my Asta pen I'm going to use as a um, box cutter. They tape up these boxes really well. And one of the things I like about uh, Timothy Lim and Mark Pellegrin, uh, Pellegrini, apologies if I mispronounce that, is their products are always on time. In fact, they even go, uh, they've said on many occasions that they don't start a program, um, a new campaign, until the item is just about ready for pickup. The script is at least done. So usually, I think I've only had... A delay of one one time that I can think of and I backed all their campaigns except for the first one that was because I didn't really know about it but I immediately went back and got it um, but yeah they're pretty exciting stuff I uh, I love them so much I went and bought uh, went back and bought Walmite which is sort of a parody of uh, sort of President Trump's former President Trump's battle with the swamp it was really funny i had a great time reading it they also parody the mandalorian the walmite as you imagine is a take on all might from my hero academia so had a really good time reading that it was hysterical they did a good job of making it funny um which is what we need we need more funny satire of politics these days and what's interesting about iconic comics is common america originally kind of started out as a satire of the comic books industry she starts off with her name uh war hen and she has a brief appearance in walmite before she gets her own spinoff which i don't think the spinoff is connected in any way to walmite i could be wrong about that but i haven't seen any confirmation but anyway we're gonna open it up here we go well, I think we're gonna open it. there we go okay so they always include one of these postcards in it i've collected all of them actually um, they have a uh, promo code that you can use. Definitely check that out. I don't know if they're all different, by the way, so I hope uh, I hope that's not the case. But here is the book: Black Ops, Common America, and Soul Finders. Timothy Lim, Mark Pellegrini, and Douglas Ernst, who of course works on Soul Finders. These guys are top-notch stuff. And um, I got the hardback edition, which has this epic back cover. I mean, this is this is so incredible. I, I I just think that it's. I haven't read it yet. Obviously, I just opened it. But this, the attention to detail. I mean, look at this uh, image of Common America, also known as her by her identity, Carly Vanders. Um, I haven't read this yet, so I'm going to try not to give spoilers. But just look at this incredible artwork. I mean. This attention to detail is is fantastic. They do such an incredible job with everything about the book. Um, I love them a great deal. They, this one included, I think this was a stretch goal. I got the uh, crossover patch for the three of them. 
And then of course, can't go wrong, I got a card which features Common Victory. She's kind of a newer character that's been introduced. I think she's been in the last two or three volumes of the series. And I'm just so excited to see what they have planned next, because this is truly an incredible series. They're definitely showing the mainstream comic book industry how it's done. It brings such uh, great joy for me as a comic book reader to read something that's so much fun. And listen, I've got plenty more coming. <laughs> I've backed several indie comics. I also backed Northern, or yes, Northern Blood. It's a... a comic book about uh, zombie vikings which is really good i review that on my website studio jakemedia.com but i highly recommend um anything from timothy Lim, mark pellegrini they've got uh also um some shorts on webtoons uh, i think it's under common america so definitely check those out as well and i look forward to reading it and reviewing it and i'll get back to you on that later on if you liked that video, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up. And I would be honored today if you would subscribe. No matter what platform you're watching on, please subscribe. Hit that follow button. Share it out all over the place. And check me out on some of my other socials. I've got links in the, in the description below. Also, check out my website, studiojakemedia.com, and consider supporting this channel on studiojakemedia.locals. Dot com. It really helps uh, smaller creators out. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time right here on Studio Jake.